What the heck is going on, YouTube? Trevman here, back with another Bee Swarm Simulator episode. We're going to be checking out the new, well, I guess the old map, since the winter map got rolled back to the original. It's kind of strange seeing the colors, but I would say it's refreshing to go back to the old map. All right, we're going to see what's new. We're going to kill some some of the mobs, and we'll see what, we'll see what we do this episode. Okay, cool. First off, it's good to know that the Bubble Bee Man mission is still up. That means I can still finish it. I just have to finish... I have to do the uh, Bucko Bee quests. But I need to get the last translator first. That's, that's the only reason I have not done that. I'm going to collect my free ant pass. It's always good to grab those whenever it's cooled down. But yeah, so I'm excited to see... Okay, wait a second. Is this it? Is this the honey bee? Okay, it is. Honeybee, buzz, buzz, buzz. Honeybee stares deeply into your eyes. It's trying to tell you something. That it won't be here long, just until the next update. Okay, cool. And if you complete the quests, it'll boost your conversion rate for a while. That's awesome. Buzzy buzz. It smiles in agreement. It, it can sense that you can understand. Okay. Let's see what the quest actually was. Collect 500 honey tokens. Oh, that's that's easy. And that gives you the um, double conversion rate. That's actually not a bad buff. That means you can farm the fields faster and dump the honey faster. All right, I'm going to summon a honey storm real quick. See if we can collect a bunch of these tokens. I want to I wanna see if all the quests are the same or if they change. I suspect that they're going to just be this, the same quest repeating with the same reward. I also wonder if the honeybee is going to be replaced in the next update or it, like if he's here as just a placeholder for a different NPC or if he's actually going to have his own missions I don't know it'll be interesting to see what Onet does but it's kind of cool to see another NPC here now okay well I only got 50 honey tokens so that's that's not a whole lot um that's alright I'll collect a bunch of more off the mobs oh I really like this I really like this part of the update that when you kill any of the bugs or mobs or anything um, the rewards are dropped as tokens and then you have to collect them that is really refreshing I think that's awesome so that'll be um, that actually might be a little a little bit getting used to only because I'm used to just running through killing the mobs collecting the rewards without having to do anything and then just running away oh sweet I think well I got 17 million honey off of that that's awesome let's see what the next one is okay oh that's not bad 25 million from each of the three fields five ladybugs three scorpions okay that's not bad I think that'll be my I think this will be one of the fifth quests, maybe 20, I'm not sure. I'll have to go back and look later, but it'll be good to, um, it'll be interesting to see what rewards I get for finishing the next Riley B quest. Let me just defeat all these guys. Yeah, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, and then the link token grabs all of them as well. Okay, so I guess that's, I guess that's convenient. You just grab a link token and get all the rewards from killing the mob. Oh, sweet, stick bug. Okay, I wonder what the mechanics on the stick bugs will be with this update. If you kill a stick bug, will you be able to collect its rewards using a link token? Hmm, we might have to do the stick bug and see what... and see how that works. That'll be interesting to see. Alright, so I'm just going through. Let's check the 30 gate, see if anything's new. Nothing new up here. Oh, I did... Nothing new in the shop. No, no. I did notice... Wait, what have I done? Yeah, these are all the same. Why did I click on that? Wow, my next hive slot's 9 billion. That's incredible. Um, let's go see if anything in here's changed. If own it's changed. Okay, so he does not have the wreath anymore. Well, it looks like there is a royal jelly up by the other bubble me man. I'll have to go collect that at some point. So nothing has changed with on it. Yeah, there is royal jelly up there. 
I'll have to collect that. So that's cool. I did also notice. Um, I'll, 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 I'll look back to it later, but I noticed that the star above the 38, there used to be a big star up there, it's gone. I'm assuming that it was removed simply because of what Onet has recently said, that he's running out of resources on the map. So the map is getting kind of laggy. So that's what I'm assuming. Oh crap, I think my... Oh, he comes back today. Okay, cool. I'll be exciting to beat the uh, Snell again for the fifth time. Oops, what have I done? Yeah, the game does get a little bit laggy sometimes. So I can understand... I understand the problem the developer's having with... Uh, with adding updates without breaking the game, making it too laggy. I think my Tunnel Bear's up. Oh, he is. Okay, so here's a trick with the Tunnel Bear. If you run really far away from him, the... Um, your Vicious Bee spikes and, and your Link tokens will all appear closer to you, the, the appear far from the Tunnel Bear, so you can collect them easily without dying to the Tunnel Bear. And then obviously you have to stay closer so your bees continue attack, to attack him. I have really strong bees, so he, he dies pretty quickly, which is awesome. Okay, yeah, this is so cool, seeing all the tokens on the ground. Let's see what I got here. I got gumdrops, 25s, glitter, awesome enzymes, royal jelly, magic bean, ticket times 10, and moon charm times 10. Yeah, that's so cool. You could actually see the tokens all drop on the ground. The only downside to that would be if you forget to collect them, then you actually just don't get them. Let's go do the, um, let's go do the, um, what's it called? forgot his name already. The Rhino Beetle. And see what we get off of this guy. Okay, he died pretty fast. Oh yeah, look at all those. Oh, look at that. Collected all of them at once. Okay, that's really cool. Alright, let's see what we got off the Rhino, the King Beetle, Rhino Beetle, whatever the heck he's called. Yeah, King Beetle. Moon Charms times 5, Ticket times 5, Red Extract. Bunch of honey, obviously. Three royal jellies. Blue extract. Strawberries times 25. Awesome. Gumdrops times 10. Okay. I could live with that. Alright, so I was just going to stop recording and come back when the stick bug spawned. But then somebody planted an epic sprout, so I guess we will just uh, farm this thing up real quickly. Epic sprouts. You know what? I may as well use... Yeah, I'm going to use the promo code right now as well. I think this is only good for a day, um, the the, re, the reboot boost. And I'm pretty sure... Yeah, okay, so activated conversion boost. Okay, yeah, so it's the exact same, it's the exact same boost that the honeybee gives. So it's good, but it's not that bad if you miss it. Because, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's only up for, like, this this day. Don't quote me out that, on that though. Alright, yeah, so I'm just going to farm up this um, epic sprout. It always gives good things. Sometimes we can get a glitter or two off of it. Obviously, we always get a bunch of tickets and a few other miscellaneous things. Sometimes some sprouts. So We're going to do that real quickly. Hopefully, we, yeah, we should have it done easily before the stick bug. Um, so yeah, I think I will just fast forward the video until right before the sprout pops.
All right, so we are back, and the Epic Spread is about to pop. Here it goes. Let's see what we can get. Tickets, obviously a bunch of stuff. Oh, wait, I think we got a glitter in there. Royal jellies. Uh, it's so hard to see everything. Oh, there's a sprout. I know I got a sprout. Come on, come on, come on. Another ticket. Bunch of royal jellies. Okay, come on. I just want another glitter or sh or like a sprout or an oil. Tickets will have to do. Oh, can you imagine if the link tokens collected all of the items the sprout dropped? That would be insane. Own it. You should do that. That's what you should actually do. Obviously, it wouldn't work because you would just steal everything from everyone else if you collected the link token first. But then again, there's always other things that eat. That I mean, it's not like all of the drops happen at once. Okay, wow, well, another two more sprouts. Um, yeah, let me finish this one first, and then I'll do the moon sprout after. I always have to do all the moon sprouts because I need the moon charms. Because that's the only way you can make glitter. And glitter is hard to get. Get that ticket, grab these other treats over here. Okay, that was not as exciting as the epic one. But everything counts. A couple more royal jellies. All right, let's go collect those. Uh, let's go pop that moon sprout real quick. Okay, the stick bug is spawning here in just a minute. That'll be fun to see. See how the mechanics on that work, or if they've even changed at all. Let's see if we can get. I, I like to count. I always like to try to count how many moon charms I get. See, I, I try to get like 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, they're stealing them. 8. Stop stealing my moon charms. Dang it, that guy stole that one. 9, 10, 11. Come on, come on. Let me get a couple more. Oh, I think I missed that one. 12, 13. Okay, so, I mean, it's 13, but not as many as I would like to get. Like I said, I usually try to get around 20. It's hard, though, when there's a bunch of people all trying to collect them at the same time. But whatever, that's why we play. It's all, all about the sharing of the rewards. We all, we all popped the sprout together, so I don't mind. Okay, I think I might actually... Oh, no, the stick bug challenge is up. I was going to say I might... Fast forward until it spawns, but it's already here. All right, let's see what happens. Okay, so it looks like the link token does not collect the stick bug rewards. Oh, here we go. We got some festive gifts. I really want to upgrade my festive bee to like level 13 or 14 that would cost so much to do but I want to do it because in the description of the festive bee it says that the gifts the gift rewards are better the higher level he is so I think it'd be awesome to do to test it out to see because my festive bee is level 11 and I get some sweet rewards off him all the time as well so I can only imagine what I would be getting if he was higher level. It's also really fun because not a lot of people have the festive bee, so whenever I use them, other people on the server get a bunch of free stuff. And if there is someone else on the server with festive bees, you just get tons of stuff just all the time. Such a cool bee. I'm really glad I added that. I hope there's another opportunity next winter for more people to get him. Okay, yeah, so it looks like the um, stick bug functions exactly the same as it normally would. The the link tokens do not, at least as far as I can tell, do not collect the rewards. Ooh, let me get that oil. Do not collect the rewards dropped. So that's all right. Stick bug's still the same. I still only have a bronze amulet. I need to... Um, I need to get into a server with a bunch of high-level players and try to get something better than a bronze amulet because I cannot do it alone. It's too hard. Stick. Oh, wait, did I just die? 
Wow, I'm a noob. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm a noob. All right, I'm gonna fast forward through the end of the stick bug and see if I notice anything else. Actually, on second thought, I might. Um, I'm sure you've all seen the stick bug or, or done it yourself a thousand times, so it's nothing special. Um, I think I might actually just go finish my, I believe it's my 20th Rylaby quest, and um, end the episode on the rewards there and see what we end up getting. Okay, so it took me some serious time to finish this to finish this uh, Rylaby quest here. But that is all right. We're going to finish the episode on this. Uh, see what we get. And Oh, it's my... Tw okay, sorry. I misspoke earlier. It's my 25th. So this is kind of exciting. Right on, right on. Good work out there. You're advancing. Here's red extract, blah, blah, blah. Don't need to read that. It says the same thing every time. Keep working. Keep blah, blah, blah. Red rules. I agree. Okay, we got... Red extract, a star jelly, and 52,500,000 honey. That is insane. I got another star jelly. Dang, that's awesome. I think I have five star jellies now. I'm saving up a bunch of them to see uh, if I can get some new gifted bees down the road. I'll make another episode on that later. But that's 25 Riley Bee quests. Pretty awesome. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Let me know in the comments what you think of the update and what you think is going to happen to Honeybee. And hit that subscribe button if you have an interest in seeing future content. Really appreciate it. Keep uh, playing Roblox and keep farming the pollen.